Chapter 25 is our rematch against Iago, but this time, defeating him is our only goal. The gimmick of the map is that some strategists have the Entrap Staff, and on Lunatic, there's one in the north who can put one of our units right by Iago. On normal mode though, we'll have to get in range of him all on our own, with just one rescue use left. We'll need physical 2 range for this boss kill, so for the last time, I switched Saizo to Master Ninja. It has less move, but he still provides plus one move on pair up to help someone ferry him north. Like Chapter 17, the plan is to move the boss killer and a rescue user forward, refresh both with a shelter sing, then rescue the boss killer before the second action. On top of this, the map has some nice side objectives, but sadly the big ones are out of reach. The boots are in a chest all the way in the northeast, and the 10,000 gold is on the strategist in the north that we can't kill on our way towards Iago. We also don't need experience on anyone other than Saizo, and technically Izana for another point of magic and skill, so there's nothing special to consider for this first set of enemies. I mean, you can get a ton of dual strikes and set up easy kills, but we just don't need to anymore. Even the arm scroll is redundant by this point, as we already have two, but it's worth a thousand gold, so we might as well get it. If we had to get directly in range of Iago on player phase, then we'd have to break out all of our shoves and swaps, and make use of Scarlet as a second unit with 9 move. However, there are heroes two tiles away from Iago that we can lunge, setting ourselves up for an enemy phase kill. This means we only have to get 4 tiles away from Iago, which means we don't even need any shoves, and just need Shura as a 9 move unit. By having him ferry the rescue user, our Shelter Sing setup can be one tile closer, which lets everyone involved reach from the starting positions. You could also have Shura ferry Saizo, which will let Saizo reach the hero even after being rescued one less tile forward, but this way, we can have Saizo paired up with Korin. As it turns out though, Korin's big speed boost and supportive are overkill, as Trample and the Speedwing I just bought let him clear Iago's physical one round threshold, even through a Silver Dagger debuff from the Maid. In fact, the Maid just makes Saizo even more overkill, as she provides the last round of combat needed for Bishurikens and Shuriken Fair for effectively plus 6 damage. He won't have any more chapters with Shurikens, but it's at least nice to see him demolish Iago with them here. And that's chapter 25 completed in one turn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.